Hi there, I'm going to show you how to reset your Mac OS X El Capitan to factory settings and defaults. First of all, you want to make sure you've done the relevant backups for your machine. This can be through cloud storage, external storage or a time machine backup. To run a time machine backup, hit command and space and type in time machine. Hit enter and then set up your time machine backup. Select an external drive and allow it to run. Please allow several hours for this to run. If you are like me and you're using Dropbox or iCloud, then you probably don't need to go any further. Once you are happy that you've backed up your documentation, your personal data, go ahead and restart your Mac. I just want to show you that this is running El Capitan. This is version 10.11.3. Remember this will wipe everything. And hold down Command and R for recovery. Keep them held down, you'll see it booting into its recovery mode. This may take several seconds. Once you see the Apple logo, release your keys. Before you go any further, please ensure your charger is connected to your MacBook. Next screen you'll see is the language settings. Hit return, and the first thing you want to do is go to the disk utility. The disk utility is a bit like disk management in Windows, so you can go ahead and wipe your drive from here. So you want to select your Macintosh hard drive from the left hand side in the tree there. You want to then click Arrays. You want to format it as Mac OS X Extended and Journaled. Allow it to erase your data. When it's done, click Done and now click the Close button. It will return you back to the main menu. From here you'll see Reinstall OS X. Go ahead and double click on that. From here you'll want to make sure that your Mac is connected to your Wi-Fi network. So at the top right here, just make sure that you are connected to your Wi-Fi in the building. Click continue. Click continue again. Agree to the terms and service agreements. Agree again. And then select the hard drive you just wiped. There it is in the list. So this is ideal if you're giving your laptop away, or you're returning it to a company, or if you're selling it on, so that none of your data will go across with it to the next person. Remember to keep your eye on it just to ensure that your recovery process is still going. Wait for it to download its additional components. Okay, the Mac then reboots and begins the installation. About 20 minutes to install the operating system. Okay, and so from here on, the Mac will obviously compare its files and uh, install them for you. Once we're back on the welcome screen, let's go ahead and select English United Kingdom, or United Kingdom, it's the uh, language there. You obviously want the British keyboard. Let's go ahead and join to our Wi-Fi network. I've just pixelated it out there just to hide that away. Put the key in for it. And this is where you can transfer your data from a time machine backup, or in this case, as it's a new Mac, the fresh installs go through that. Let's enable location services and sign into our Apple ID. There we go. Okay, let's agree to the terms and conditions. And let's create a computer account. We'll call it Jake Billing. The account name, Jake. Put my uh, password in there. And I don't need anything upset. Okay, let's not enable that for now. And we're nearly done, guys, don't worry. Let me do that right now. No, it's going to be in the house all the time, never taken off site. And we don't need these statistics on in usage. Okay. So, setting up your Mac, and now we should be on the home screen. And voila! A freshly installed Mac. So this is a fresh copy of El Capitan, all done. Just to show you there, El Capitan. So the first thing I did was went to the App Store and just reinstalled the iMovie, because obviously I use that for all my editing. And after that, that's about it. Thanks for watching, see you next time.